Kia ora, Yama. I'm lucky enough to be joined today in the Yarning Circle with Kayan. Kayan? Yeah, that's it. Brother Kayan, Cody Walker, the Trail Mitchell and GI. Um, boys, firstly, let's start with uh, our respect to the land, our elders. Um, can we talk about our, or just say where we're from, our mob? Yes, so I'm um, traditional island of Biripai uh, country. That's from Tari, my north coast, and then my mother's central west, Radjuri mob, uh, Burellan, Hilston. So. Oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, my tribe's Dungari up in Kempsey, mid north coast, New South Wales. And my old man's up in Tinga, Tamworth Way, which is Gim Gimilaroi country. So, yeah, it's, um, get the both, best of both worlds. Um, one coast and one, one desert. <laughs> hey, beautiful. Um, proud Bunjalung man. Uh, it's my father's country from the top end of New South Wales. And my mother's family is from down the south coast of New South Wales, so proud you and boy as well. Um, and the young fella's got some ties to uh, Radjuri country out, out west of um, New South Wales. Uh, awesome, boys. I think it's cool that um, we start off with our connection where we're from. In Māori culture, they call it wairua, and I can feel it. Um, just the strength from you boys and how proud you are and inspirational you are for your mob. Um, that's probably something I want to talk about. Uh, just going to go straight, jump straight in there. For me growing up, I always felt like I wasn't dark enough to be Samoan. Uh, my dad's Samoan, my mum's European. So I guess that's where the shoulder charge came from. <laughs> so I need, you know, I needed to prove myself and, and, and prove that I was Samoan enough to, you know, feel like I belonged. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say is, did you, firstly, did you boys have any, any things like that, 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 that it, that I guess spurred and inspired you to become the men that you are um, because I know that for my people there's a lot of that you know not feeling like they, they connect. I think you know my situation as well is you know, <laughs> pretty much looking at Latrell now it's like a lot of controversy comes your way when you go out there and playing them and being in the in the media or in the headlines or whatever no matter what you do but you know, coming through the grades, it was, I didn't really found I belonged somewhere around when I was going through junior reps or playing juniors around uh, Newcastle in that area. It wasn't until I really found like a, like I belonged or a sense of belonging to a family tie than what I did, the deep connection that I did with um, the family I live with in Brisbane. And um, they helped me out a lot. They taught me a lot as well. And one thing that they, um, that I really did was just encourage me to play my footy the way I did, you know, and just really stood, stood behind me and became my family away from my family. So that's what made that journey take this next step further up there. For, that's, for, that's just for me. But yeah, it's, um, it's a massive issue. And again, moving away from home, off country, it's, I didn't think I'll be here today sitting and telling my story about what I did. Chill. Yeah. A bit sort of different to Greggy. I um, always had a, you know, a strong father figure in my life, and I um, always knew I was a black fella, you know, when I was growing up. And um, and my mum, she's she's a pretty staunch woman as well. And I just um, yeah, I just knew what I understood to you know what it took to sort of be somebody and get away from Taree and that community of you know, and everyone's got you know their community and how. Yeah, and what affects that, and obviously, you know, the stealing and, uh, you know, obviously everything else that comes behind that, and just wanted to change the narrative and yeah. and be somebody and be something and sort of provide for my family, and obviously having kids now makes you realise a bit more than, you know, having that, and, uh, yeah, I just want them to be strong, proud women uh, of who they're going to be, and, you know, eventually they're going to be parents, and um, I just want them to pass that on. and. If it starts with me and it started with my old boy and my mum, I just, um, yeah, I feel like I've had long ties of just strong people in my life and that's uh, made me who I am and why I'm so proud and that's why I talk out the way I do. Yeah, bro. I just want to run through that brick wall now, you know? Yeah. Um, it's uplifting, boys. Awesome. I think for me, um, you know, growing up, or my dad or, or my parents, there was a lot of shame mm. um, in Aboriginal culture. Um, so. You know, growing up, we wanted to change that, and I think, you know, we've made a big effort in the All Stars. Is that we've got a rule there? There's no shame in in this camp, and I think being away from home, um, it's created this tighter bond because we've brought our ancestors with us, 
you know, on the back of us. Um, and it's important that we show our young, mm. um, our young people that. Mm. And it's, you know, we had a session last night, cultural session, and at the start he was a little bit skeptical to jump in, and um, we, we was encouraging him to, to have a crack and yeah. um, get involved in the dance. And and by the end of it, he was doing shake leg in, in, in the circle, and and that energy and that 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 love and that um, it's gone straight away. You know what I mean? And I, I think. You know, we can take a lot of lessons from that as we show our young people that it's not, don't be ashamed of who you are and where you come from. You know, we might be on a different land, we might not be on our traditional land, but, you know, in this circle and in this in this hotel, um, we create this bond that we're together and we bring our people with us. Ross, it's, so, it's crazy that you say shame because I feel like, you know, Maldives, Polynesians, for myself growing up, I always had mad shame. Like yeah. I'm not Samoan enough or I'm not, uh, academic enough or you know all my uncles in were in gangs this is all I'll ever ever be so I think it's important well I just want to get your guys thoughts on how do we change that stigma because man like even talking with my usos now my boys now it's almost 40 we still have that shame to get out there and do it although we've you know we've done the uh, we've done the hard yards we've done the graph been you know professional sportsmen for 20 years and still having that shame to get in front of the camera what's some um, I guess if there's, um, what I'm trying to say is, w what's some uh, tools or triggers or, you know, guidelines that we can say to the youth? What do you guys think, you know? So Help change think, that mentality. I think it's about creating an environment to uplift our people instead of laughing and, you know, doing that sort of stuff. Yeah. And, um, you know, some of the boys can't really do shake leg, but the way you, the way you learn it is by doing and you improve it by doing it all the time or you know practicing it and you bring it back to footy terms you only get better by practicing your skill you know what I mean like um, and that's why a lot of blue boys do a lot of extras after training well it's the same with culture um, you practice that culture you get better at it so um, yeah I think it's about creating an environment where, you, where you're uplifting um, our boys and you know our kids to, to practice culture and, and um, be proud of that yeah you know, I was around, you know, halfway mark, and then, which dad, it was like, and he went back and asked questions about our history, about our own culture, about our own tribes, you know, what's our parents, where are our parents from, what's, um, what does it mean, what our totems mean, and then I was reckoned by the end of it, those guys at the end of the scale was at the halfway, and the boys in halfway were, you know, that way. Mm. Um, JT speaks about it a lot, Johnny Thurston. So, you know, he's got a different story, um, completely different, but, you know, it's what Cody said, just encouraging, like you said, get him in a safe, safe place and, you know, encouraging him to talk about it, encouraging him to get up and that, don't have that embarrassment of trying to shame, you, shame yourself or your people. And then fucking obviously stigma you know, changed and done it for ourselves and, um, and I just think for the younger fellas, it's just about trying to have a role model, trying to look up to something and then trying to achieve what you want to be. And I guess that's how, yeah, why we are where we are because we've done that. And I want to get back to why this game's so important for me when I, I guess, look at this game and this fixture, bro, you boys are always jumping, jumping at like, get me there, you know, mm. and bro, that's so uplifting. So I'm so proud of that because here, you guys don't know the impact. You guys might know the impact, but walking the streets and being on this side of the fence now, man, GI will be able to say like the impact you boys have on the community, bringing a game like this here is massive. So um, I just wanna, want you guys to just tell us why it's, you probably asked this 50 times this week, but why is it so important that you boys represent and play in this fixture? Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, last year, you know, they spoke about it there last night. They started planning it after All-Stars game last year, but I think it makes more significant come and bring it, bringing it back here because of our 1963 um, Indigenous team that came over. 73, yeah. 73 I mean. Got you, bro. Um, thanks, bro. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I got the 60 stuck in my head, but you know, back then it was totally different laws in the Australian government. Yeah. So, you know, they really wasn't allowed to showcase who they were, and I guess that's where the shame comes from, and showcase what the, how talented they are, who they are, and what they represent. So first Indigenous um, Australian rugby league side came here and they played a game here. Yep. And, you know, it marks 50 years now. So, you know, it's not only us representing our people, like we're representing them, those who walk 
walked before us. And like I said, they played a game down here, so you know what what a better way to kick it off um, a game back here 50 years later. Yeah. Especially around the All Stars week. Yeah, you sort of see yesterday, like when we we're at the welcoming too, like yeah. you know they'll just how proud they were, you yeah, know, yeah. taking photos, video, just being back and phone going off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, it was just mad just to have them there, and you know, and they've been around obviously the hotel now, just buzzing yeah, as you can tell. It's cool, just man. a mad little feel, and um, but yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. I was a bit skeptical to come over here and play, yeah. And, but yeah, to bring it over here and just you know sort of see what we you know got expressed to us yesterday was yes. just very powerful. Yeah. Yeah. But they talked about spirit and connection, and as soon as I walked in, I uh, goosebumps and Scott goosebumps. Now well. talking about it, yeah, you know, because you know, that's what I, I try and you know I try and be is that touches the heart, you know, that passion. You know, yeah. you know. No, we don't. We wouldn't know the impact that we got that we have right at this moment. You know, maybe in 50 years' time we will, but yesterday was yeah, a historic special. moment. Yeah, very special. Like it was a very touching tribute yep. for us. Um, pretty sure for the people that was all involved as well. But yeah, when I talking to the old old uncles there, they definitely was was moved by it. That that moment, I, I remember that moment when uh, was it the did you do was pumping, and they were singing, mm. doing their thing back. But for me, just sitting back I was, as a Polynesian, I'm like, man, this is like you said, this is a moment. Yeah, you know. I walk. But even like like the like even the Maori elders, bro, they were just they, I, I know I had a conversation with one of the older fellas in there, and he said that just tears coming to their eyes, yeah, you know, of joy, just because mm. of two, you know, obviously two brother or sisters, you know, coming together, and it's just uh, yeah, it was very special, bro. Like honestly, I, and I was just mad seeing that whole thing coming in, and you know, making sure if we're there to fight or we're there to be friends, you know, yeah. and that's what was yeah. the best part about it. So it's cool. Yeah, I think, um, you know, f for us and, and the Māori boys, I think, you know, two very proud cultures coming together. Um, you know, the week's all about us uniting and and being a part of um, the Māori um, experience and the Māori culture being in New Zealand. Um, and it's uniting two cultures together through the week. And, um, you know, Respectfully, at the end of the day, we're going to go to go to war, in, and what we call war is rugby league. Yep. Um, and that's with all due respect, we respect each other, but you know we're two cultures that don't want to lose at the end of the day. And what that what that creates is a great atmosphere and a great game. Um, and then at the end of it, we all unite together again, and yep. we're brothers. You know what I mean? Like that's that's the reality of it. Um, and culture wins at the end of the day, that's like good. as Trell said. That's, <laughs> that's beautiful, bro. Um, and what that's doing is it's creating um, our young our young ones, whether it's Māori or Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander, to be proud of who they are. We're on the world stage representing our cultures and putting our culture on, on the world stage. So um, it doesn't get much prouder than this, I suppose. Yeah, it's, it's pretty special. Really appreciate you guys doing this. Wow. And um, seeing, you know, a couple of the best players in the world at the moment and, you know, arguably one of the, the best ever to do it. Coming over in these shores and representing Bryce Proud is awesome for our game.